All right, so we can represent the um, a, a sine or a cosine. Uh, we can represent these things in either the time domain or in the frequency domain. And what we've looked at so far is just in the time domain. So, uh, for example, we have our function here, uh, and we plot it out, and this is uh, the time axis. Uh, the time axis are here, and uh, then then just our, our function value f of t here, right? And so that's what we tend to have, uh, but there is a different way that we can represent it. And how we're going to show this is I've gone ahead and gotten MATLAB, and I plotted out a, a three-dimensional um, version of this where we have the time and the frequency domains shown. So... Uh, here is here's a function uh, right here shown in blue, the sine of t, and then uh, we have here on this other axis the frequency. So so you can see a, a, just a regular sine function. The the frequency is just one over the period, and that's always true. Uh, the frequency is one over the period, and the period for the sine function is two pi. So uh, so we can see, it, and these could keep going, but so we can see that. Uh, that this is then what we have. So if we have something that has twice the frequency, uh, which would be uh, 2 over 2 pi, um, then uh, that would be the sine of 2t, and you can see that shown here in red. Uh, similarly, we could have something with three times the frequency, and I've shown that here in green, uh, and so forth. And each different frequency uh, can be shown as a different uh, distance along this frequency axis. Uh, and then what we can do is we could project any of these along onto the time plane, uh, onto this line here that I show. Uh, we could project any of those in that direction, uh, which would be equivalent in, if we look here, which would be equivalent uh, to um, viewing it like this. Uh, now, it looks a little bit confusing because we've got all three on here, um, but we uh, an easy way to visualize all three of these is to go, uh, so he, here they are, um, so that's on the time plane, but then we could go to the other view, and we can see here, this is this is the frequency magnitude plot, and if you look, now we, we, we could actually get rid of this whole bottom half, because yeah, it always goes the same distance above and below, but this is, this is essentially our, our frequency plot, and then our time plot, as I s said, the other axis, and, um, Anyway, so that's that's the idea uh, behind our, our time and our frequency domain, and this is just a good way of visualizing that.